I was muted. Whoopsie doodle. Sorry. I was just uh, fixing my pants. I had them hiked up because I was too warm. And that's uncomfortable sitting. So I had to hike them back down at my shin level. I'm, I'm wearing pants. I promise I'm wearing pants. As far as you know. Anyways, hi. <laughs> Got a real dad in here? Indeed. Dad with an, an aggressively uh, positive t-shirt. Okay, we are playing Moon Glow Bay tonight. Which I'm just gonna fire up right now. Just, let's get the party started. By party, I mean chill fishing RPG stream thing. Uh, and I don't remember which screen was a good one. I think like bottom right or top left. Hold on a second, let's just. I'll just start the game real quick. And then I'll remember the UI. We did bottom right last time. I think bottom right could get in the way of some UI though, so I'm just gonna swap it. You gonna capture? You gonna capture? Sorry, I meant top left, actually. But there we go. First try. Mm -hmm. Down we go. So what the hell were we doing? Let's see. Uh, so we've got to invest in town renovations. Those will just kind of come up uh, as we go. Uh, so yeah, this is the first thing we actually have to do. Which is show Marina the Strange Rock. Also, uh, just as a heads up, I am on a child duty tonight. My uh, wife is out. So we may have to inter- Okay, what are you doing? Okay, now you want to talk to me. Hey, Gritholmy. How have you been cooking? Something smells amazing. That's it? Ah, my leg's gone to sleep. How do you stand up fishing all day? You're gonna... Be careful near the water, eh? Okay, cool. Nothing useful. Um, <laughs> couldn't tell? Yeah, well, <laughs> the sound that you probably heard is the sound that reminded me to say a thing. Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, also, I figured out how to force V-Sync. It's better. I'm just doing a fast V-Sync, which is like, okay. But at least I'm not getting wild screen tearing. Now I'm getting kind of a frame, like I can see the whole thing kind of shift, but actually it's way less disturbing than like seeing half the tear, uh, half the screen tear. Ah, oh, the fish keeper. Do I have a mystery for you? Audrey Hepburns? That just sounds like a porn version of Audrey Hepburn. A flockfish? What does it want? Where does it come from? What does it look Whoa. like? No one knows! It's covered in wool. Alright. Hey Tam, how's it going? Any other exciting yeah. tips? You wait. Wait till you encounter the Notre Dame Sand Digger. The profane, oh boy, amaranthine goth gothic terror of the seas. <laughs> Purple lobster. Okay. Oh, hi. No, oh, Jesus. Well, that's a camera angle choice. Ah. Ooh, this great moss is spooked old sailors. It's whale skin, like from a barnacle whale. With limestone and steel wire. Oh, no. Unusual migration pattern. Feeds on Atlantic cod. Okay. And retreats to crevasses when threatened. A cove nearby, a refuge where it feels safe. Somewhere with pink limestone, likely inaccessible above water. Okay. Is there a place called Pink Limestone Bay? Because that'd be convenient. Actually, can I fish off this dock? Let me just check. Can! Okay, I'll have another fishing marker thingy here, just so we know. Are 
Are we getting a submarine? No, I don't think so. Um, there was something else I could buy, though, for... Hmm, horizontal tearing is still a little rough. It's still better. Uh, what is this objective? God, I wish I could click on an objective and have it tell me what the objective is. Is it you? Oh, yeah, there we go. What am I giving you? Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, what the hell is your job? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, hide completed. There we go. What do you want? You want a moon glow jellyfish. Here you go. Yeah. Cool. There was... Where's the shop? Over... Yeah, here. Hello. Uh, yeah, let's buy... The sonar. There we go. Uh, Miss Fisher. Miss... Sorry, Mix Fisher. Very nice day to you. If you're looking for amusing nautical tales, I have none. God, you're such a bore. Uh, yay, vending machine. Boiled lobster. Oh, I'll be right back. Hold on a sec. As a responsible parent, I forgot my drink upstairs. One boiled lobster. All right. Okay. So I can't go into the town hall yet, I don't think. Can I? No, okay. The town hall, as I've learned, this objective is the invest in town opportunities that just haven't come up yet. So it just stays there for a long time. Which is kind of a bummer. There's broken glaciers, rusted skates. This kind of looks like an option. So where do we find the thing? The perching isles, right? Oh, oh, never mind. There's an actual, an actual objective marker in the total opposite direction of where I was going. Cool. I'm good at this game. All right. Onto the boat. How do I drive this thing again? Alright. So, first thing we should probably do is check on our uh, lobster thingy jiggies. Lobster traps, that's the word. Thingy jiggies. Whoops. Uh, nope. Okay. Hasn't been that long. I don't know. It, could, it said up to 24 hours. So we're kind of sort of going in that direction anyways. So it doesn't hurt to just swing by him. Literally just place them? That's probably not true. I can't corroborate that even a little. Okay, so a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Oh, hi, bud. 
This must be it. The cove. I will need help clearing a path. Doesn't Abby have a winch? Yeah. Whew, ready to tow. So what's behind here? Oh, sharp red bass, Atlantic cod, possibly a whale. You've barely graduated lime fishing and now you're hunting the ruin? Oh, shut up and move the rocks. <laughs> right before something goes wrong. You, Richard Taylor, what are you trying to prove? Of a whale? To move on! Hmm. Your own worst enemy, Gartholomew, but fine. I mean, that doesn't seem likely, but okay. Go hunt your white whale. Go hunt your white whale. Uh... All right, um, back in the boat. Oh, what's this button do? So the sonar increases the map. I don't know if it does anything else. Oh, poor dude's got a bunch of things sticking out of him. That's no good. Oh, incredible. Hustle my eye. Wait, what? This expression, it means Marino's uh, taking, okay. <laughs> Must be in pain. Look, look at his back. Are those harpoons? <laughs> Is this literally Moby Dick? Also, thank you, Pokemon Freak, for the eight months. Much obliged. Uh, You're genius. Uh, are we? That was that thing. Oh, we'll come back to that. Hello? Hello? Where you at, buddy? Oh, there you are. Hi! I guess I fish? Yeah. What? Okay, that's... Alright. There's a quick time event. Yay! I'm helping. Twist it around. Yeah, that's exactly... Oh, you've got a big serrated blade sticking out of you? Let me, let me resolve that for you. I don't know how to get this thing out. Can I even? Hold on. No, I don't think it was net. Hold on. Wait, is he still in the bay? Oh, do I have to do this a couple times? This might be a multi-stage uh, boss. Ooh. I mean, that thing looks like a thing we want to grab, but we'll come back to that in a sec. Hey, buddy. You all right? Need a little help? Oh, 
Wait, what? What button is that? Hold on, what the hell is plus sign? Fuck. Okay, so these aren't mapping quite right. Also, this angle is brutal. Uh, it's not start, I tried that. Oh! Oh, it's a direction, and then they've, they added a, a step. Obviously. Alright. Come here, you. Oh, don't make me chase you. Oh, okay. That was just too quick. Yeah, let's try and orient my mouse a little bit. There we go. Shit. Fuck. You know, this wheel's awfully forgiving of my bullshit. There you go, buddy. Are we friends now? Yay! <laughs> I give you Nero's pearl. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of crossover to be had with uh, with uh, Wind Waker, huh? It's a mammal, Gartholomew, and of course they can, as soon as Mungo sees a whole ah. whale's true colors. I see a true color splashing through. I see a true colors, and that's why I appreciate you. <clears throat> no one in town could possibly feel intimidated. I don't know if that is the correct way that it's going to take. Uh, no, but first... We're gonna go get whatever the thing was. Oh, did my boat get a bit of a shit kicking? It looks like my boat got a bit of a shit kicking. On account of being smashed into the side of a whale. Uh. Okay, that's not doing it. Okay, what is this thing? I maybe this is plot related and I can't just get it. You know what? Since we're here, we may as well, right? Get in the boat. God damn it! Get in the boat. Blazing Inca. It weighs 117 kilograms. Apparently, my muscles are made of spun steel. Cowl darter. Switch some things up a little. Uh, let's go with the plug. Get in the boat. Yet another eel. We gotta learn how to cook eels. We have so many eels.
Okay, that's not what I expected to catch. Okay. Whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> that one can live. Yeah, it can tell the others. A wise minion. Not that wise, apparently. Hidden Lake. Okay. It's the trio of wacky minions that you have fight over and over for my amusement. I think my boat is a little slower once I have the hell kicked out of it. Oh yeah, this is the thing I wanted to do. Orbs. Gross. I keep them all. Oh, wow, you guys are filled fast. Perfect. Hi. Oh, new one. Couch potato. Oh, now I catch a ling. Ooh, some cod. Cool. Oh, the radar is actually doing something now. That one's a real fish? Yeah, occasionally they're a real fish. Wait, have those been triggered? She has nightmares now. Hold on. Sometimes I can talk her down off the ledge. Sometimes I have to go up there and actually just, like, tell her in person, and then she just goes directly to sleep.
Come on. There we go. Red lobster. Hot oh, damn. Wait. That's that's not good. Lobsters are not supposed to be red. Is there a reverse? Oh, there is. Spider crab. Spider crab. Does there ever a spider crab can? Is my dog here? Uh. uh oh. My dog is ephemeral. Ghost dog. Who the hell is talking? Okay. Oops. No. Stop it. No. Okay. No. Why am I... Stop it. What are you doing? There we go. Gotta make that guy some boiled lobster, right? Assuming I can. Oh, that's a lot of bait I just got, effectively. Alright. Now let's head home. Sorry about before for what I said. I was Richard, that's all, and Taylor. This ocean's taken so much. I know what happened to Taylor was an overconfidence or some curse. It was just a tragedy. Anyways, friends. Yeah, by the way, I also uh, freed the whale that harmed everyone. That's fine, right? Excuse me, Gartholomew, right? What? Yeah. Well done. That creature's been a thorn inside of every angler for miles around. Okay. Uh, Paris Lavoie would like a word. Okay. Well, Paris Lavoie can wait. I have a bunch of food to make. Oh, lobster. Well, let's make two of them. Wash. And we boil. Worst combination of games. Alright, good enough. Uh, what else can we make? Can we make anything else new? Oh, we can make some crab rice. I haven't made any of that. So many recipes to make. Uh, we can also make some bait out of... Oops. Whatever. I don't care. It's bait. It doesn't matter. I feel like the low-grade bait, if you make it three stars, should not be low-grade anymore. Feels kind of disingenuous to the rating system. 
finest craft bait you'll ever see. Let's make them. Uh, yeah, let's make some crab rice out of... I've got spares of you. One, two, three, and one of you. Okay. Oh boy, that's too many steps. Ugh. This is why you bash cook. That's a small fry window. Huh. Okay, get the rice. Wash the rice. Explain to me why I don't have a rice cooker. Why am I doing this that like this? Terrible. I just got saw your thing. That's all it was. Just a tragedy. That's good. All right. Four fifty-five in the morning. Perfect time to fill a vending machine. In here. So one of you. Need to give one to the dude. Oops. Is that all I made? I guess it is. All right. I should make some more stuff. Hold on. May as well, like, this is how I make my, my monies, right? So, uh, fish and chips. Uh, uh, yeah, one, two of you, one of you, and nope, only got one of you. Can't remember if we've donated you. Oh, I got a bunch of cod. The actual fish you do for this. I don't, I like how you don't wash these fish. Ah, you're just gonna fry them up anyways, who gives a shit? Nor gut them, nor descale them. <laughs> It's fine, I'm sure. Uh, one boat. Eh, eh, no, we'll keep one ling. Uh, yeah, let's make two more out of our Atlantic cod here. Make one out of a blazing anchor, which makes no goddamn sense. And one out of moon glow jellyfish. Someone's in for a terrible surprise. Station Phipps. Let's go. Okay, so who the hell am I supposed to talk to? Some dude around here. Here? Nope. Oh, all right, fish burger. I don't know if I know the recipe for fish burger yet. Is it around here? You? Ah! Paris Lavoy. Ah, Garthalmy, finally. Now, explain yourself. Yeah. What? Hmm. So explain yourself. What's the meaning of this? The whale, f fishing, street food business. Is this a takeover? Where are you from? What are you trying to do? Well, I'm from Ontario, so I'm trying to gentrify. Duh. That's all. Like Taylor wanted. Taylor. Oh. You're Taylor's partner. Hmm. Well, now I'm just an asshole. 
storm clouds put me on edge. Let's restart. I'm Paris Lavoy. I manage the sea market. Okay. Get out there, meet people. In business, people need to know who you are. That's just starting with Sophie Nadieu, Felix Wilson, and William Benet. Or Bennett. They're the best anglers in town. They catch everything for the sea market. Now the ruin is out of the way. We're going to see some big changes. Okay. Speak the anglers, listen to their advice afterwards, and the sea market should be up and running. Okay. Ah, if it isn't the amateur angler who bested the beast of the bay. The ruin of the ruin, the monster master. Okay. Ah, you're so fine to I understand you wish to learn the mysteries of advanced angling. Excellent. As you know, changing your lure and bait will help you attract different species. With extra edge when reeling, let me tell you about the four rods. The four rods. Is the balance rod? Yes. Balance rod is a great all around straightforward to use. Okay. Well, for an extra reach and leeway, you want the strong rod. Take mine. Okay. Yes, the, the fire rod, the earth rod, the wind <laughs> rod, and the, the water rod. The fire rod has the longest line and the easiest to handle. Okay. Striking is less demanding, and fish need a greater distance to escape. Okay. However, striking is less effective, and overall, your reel speed is slow. It's great for a casual afternoon on the waves, plus it reduces the in initial tension when reeling resilient species. Of course, when you cast your line, you won't know exactly which species. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to... Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, there we go. Where's Felix? I don't know where Felix is right now. Doesn't matter. We are heading up to... Who's you? Grilled octopus. You look kind of fishery. Nope. Hey! Okay, what can I buy from you? Uh, 100 bucks for reinforce. Uh, increases the size of your cabin, adds a bunk so you can sleep out in the waves. <gasps> Hot diggity damn. Gimme. Uh, I don't know if I need this, but. Uh, $500 dues for that one. Let's get that. I don't even know if I need that, but there we go. Uh, $300 for a kitchen. Ooh, swanky. All right, let's go throw a bunch of stuff in the aquarium. Nope. Shells, shush. Whatever they want to call currency here. Okay, you've got to be one of them, right? Nope. Okay, thanks for the new fish info. Oh my god. Wow, you're act you actually did it. You done did it. Alright. Uh I did not see the thing above it. Give me but a moment. I am not but a man of my uh of my word. Where is that? Creator dashboard? <laughs> Settings. Your rewards. Channel points. Editing. There you go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, you're going to start YouTube playing, aren't you? Nope. Good. All right. Uh, okay, I don't know where to find other people, but... Hello! Boy, do I have, like... No, I don't want... Oh, oh, that's what that button's for. Got it. Two, three, four, five. 
Six, seven, eight, nine. Bam! Uh, and the rest are forfeit. Okay. Um, where is the boy? The boy that hates the fish. Are you in here today? You are. Oh, wait, hold on. Talk to you. No, I didn't make it. Okay, I've got to gift it to you, I guess. Family company, I love technology. Seems like the obvious choice. Do you know I always aspire to manage a business? No, oh, there's loads I've got planned. The list is endless. How long have you got? I, what do you, wait, what? I gotta keep making him boiled lobster? What do you got? I don't care about any of that. Okay. I don't know where to find the next person. Oh, I have to catch the... Oh, okay. So I have to actually catch the fish before I can do the next thing. Alright. Let's see if I can get... Beefy Hull? No. Where do I get the Beefy Hull? Oh, I probably get that from same place the other other person in there though right like it's hey where the hell is she oh you saw this stuff Engine tuning, galley, or repair. What? I figured it would have been her, but all right. Whatever. So, even though you don't have to sleep, if you don't sleep, uh, you get exhausted. That's something. Okay. So, we're going to switch to the strong route. Uh, and then we're going to scoot out to up there. Okay, so we're going to go north. bit. Actually, we are going to Can I do multiple off the sides. No, it's just like one per side, right? Oh, hello. I'm sure this will have no bad side effects. Rip the local ecosystem. Believe it or not, there is actually a... Uh an achievement for like throwing an Atlantic cod and like two other fish back into the water. Which I'm happy to do if someone wants to look up the achievement. I can't remember what it is.
Oops. Well, that counts as a bonk. Uh. Let it go. The Arcadian Redfish. The Acadian Redfish. That actually might be one of them. A Micro Seal. And more barnacles. All right, let's do some fishing. Wow, that's an aggressive looking thing. So far, this rod seems decent. Sleeping on my boat. Sleeping on my... That's not what my boat looks like. Continue on getting the other rods of power. So you can open the fish market and we can start getting some high quality uh, stuff. I should probably cook some stuff. Uh, I gotta learn how to make more food. Oh, I only get some of these after I've mastered some food. Oh, that's really cool. I said the rest of these are forfeit, right? Yeah. I actually think that's neat that like you learn some recipes from people and other ones you, you by getting better at certain foods, you can take on more complex foods. I think that's really neat.
There we go. I just got a new recipe. I've unlocked fish tacos. And I have to donate those three, so three it is. That's not how you chop bread. Oh god. Why is the bread chopped? Or fried? Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got to donate the rest of those fish, so away we go. Uh, the camera is the top. It just knows that the, t the camera is right on top of the recipe. Oh, okay. Uh, bottom right it is then. scratch. I head off this way to go talk to that woman who was too busy to talk to me before. Well, who are you? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Fuck. Hello? Well, oh, now I'm stuck on the beach forever. Hello. Hi. There you are, Gartholomy. I'd like to introduce you. Felix Wilson, yes. The Felix Wilson. Angler extraordinaire. Must be very exciting to meet me. So if he's already explained the regulars and strong rods, and they're fine for novices. For something that requires a touch more skill, you want the poise rod. The poise rod makes your strikes very effective, but trickier to perform. But with practice, they provide an overall swifter and more satisfying piscatorial experience. The poise rod also reduces the initial line tension when really aggressive species. Alright. Now a challenge. It's three fish using the poise rod at Lonely Rock. All right. Uh, then, <laughs> okay. Cool. Great. How do I get off the stupid beach? Seriously, how do I get off the stupid beach? Yep, there we go. Hi. The Boating Harbinger. Uh huh. Umbrella. The mottled creature out there lures to the doom. The demon. The mottled demon, I guess, is the name of that one. Alright. Who the hell are you just standing out here on your own? The ghostly swordfish. Red eyes, this haunted expression. Plus, it gives everyone the heebie jeebies. Okay. Cool bus stop. Uh, Alright. Back onto the boat! We gotta use the poise rod. Alright. We need to go out to Lonely Rock. Alright. I've been on my boat a little bit, and I already want the faster engine. Okay. Apparently there is an achievement for beating this game within 30 game days. Seems like a thing that you could definitely do on a second run through. Yet? We must be. Alright. So let's just scooch over here real quick. So here's what we're gonna do. First, we're just gonna do some aggressive. Uh, net fishing real quick. Cop 
one, two. Oh no, some eels. Oh, hmm. Okay, now let's do some fishing. finding much of a difference in these rots. Well, that one seems new. Alright. Uh, back in the boat. Azure crossing, got it. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, the weather's actually turning, so it's probably not like, uh, that's not the right song, right? It had a different song when the weather went all bad. My brain cannot recall it at all right now. What a fun little tugboat sound. Has Ganon's theme mixed in? Does it really? I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah, you want a crab rice. I can actually make that well. I have the capacity, if not the ingredients. Alright, so... You live over there. Okay, let's go make you happy. Find the third rod master. What's this? Can I go in this building yet? I can't even go in this building. It's all lit up. Conquering hero returns. Garthami, may I introduce William Bennett? I understand these two pretenders have already covered the basics. For a true angling professional, you'll want the angle rod. The angle rod has the shortest line, so fish won't need much room to escape. However, I'm agile. I'm old. Shut up. You, who, who are you to say with a rod? Shut up. However, as the swiftest reel by far, reduces the initial line tension when reeling in fast species. With practice, she can be extremely efficient. Yeah, take mine. As a thanks on behalf of Moonglow Angling Collective. 
Now a challenge. Yeah. And now a challenge. Catch three fish using the agile rod at the icy wall. But take heed. The wind of change brings stormy seas. You can already taste the ozone in the air. It's the precursor to something huge. Soon the skies will darken. The seas will tremble and furious wrath will wash across the bay. Beware. Beware. The stormfish awaits. Okay. Oh, am I actually doing plot stuff right now? I guess I am. Hey. Grog, grog, grog. Hold on. Is that a, a what the, Monkey Island reference? I do believe it is. God, there's a game I haven't played in forever in a day. Huh. Oh, you want to assume you're right. Okay, whoa. Weird frame drop there. Jesus. I don't know what just happened there. My frames halved. Uh, Alright. Get back on the boat. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get back on the boat. God damn it, not that way. The impassable clothesline strikes again. Okay, so we want the, the Agile Rod. Uh, and we want to go where? All the way up there, huh? I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, we gotta weave around this. I'm gonna go northeast. Oh, actually, go more southeast for a bit. Scoot past all these. I this place just called The Waking Storm. That doesn't seem great. Alright, there we go. I like how the night boat music is extremely, uh, like, Indiana Jones. fish we got out here. Let's take a sample. Okay. Alright. Alright, cool. Oh, wow, they all respond. Well, the fish aren't going to learn. The Tempest Sun. That's a fancy looking fish. All right. Uh, we're almost there. In the icy wall now. Right, so what's so scary about this place? This all seems fine.
sure nothing will happen once I finish this challenge. zoom out here. That's pretty good. I'm absolutely buying that boat upgrade. The fish is real shad. I could probably start thinking of all of the puns in Animal Crossing. And I think also Harvest Harvest Moon. Uh, and probably Stardew? Did Stardew do fish puns? I don't remember. The one I always remember is Carpe Diem. buy that boat or that boat engine talk to me? No? Nope. Alright. So, how do we unlock this? Sea market. So that's fish cakes mastery intermediate. So I keep making fish cakes in order to unlock that. I think. Uh, whole fish mastery. Do I even have a whole fish one? I need a white belly. Huh. Okay. Sizzling fish. Which one is sizzling fish? Oh, that one. Well, I can cook one of them. Tail mastery? Well, we've got some purple tail. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Oops. Whoa, okay. Oh, no! Recipe. Ah, diggity. So, sea market, sea market, boiled lobster mastery, crab race mastery. Oh, I can make this one now. Jerkfish poutine, the popular Canadian dish topped with gravy and cheese. No, that is the popular Canadian dish topped with resilient fish. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, that actually sounds really good. Like, a, a, a jerk seasoning fish in poutine 
sounds like fucking amazing, actually. But don't call it the popular Canadian dish topped with gravy and cheese. You got that very backwards. Okay. Fish fingies mastery. Okay, so fish tacos mastery. Okay. So we gotta spend a lot of time on this first page here, unlocking stuff. All right, let's make more fish cakes with Arcadian fish. So we need money to get our ritzy boat. So I can start cooking things on my boat and I never have to leave the boat and I'll become the weird boat uh, person. It just like throws freshly cooked food onto the dock. You there, urchin. In this case, street urchin. Because I realize we're talking about sea and, well, you know. Go put these in the vending machine. There's a shiny sixpence in it for you. You caught the Arcadian fish. Too bad it's going out style. Oh my god, are you just looking up all the puns now? When you find a fish that actually aligns? top of the dome. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is there anything else I can cook? I don't know if I have a lot of spare. Oh, I do. I can make shad. Uh, okay, that's... Oh, I've got a master fish fingies, so let's do fish fingies. Oh, I can't. These are all big... Uh, I need small fish. Okay. Uh, boiled lobster, fish bowl, fish burger. Where do I get the fish burger, actually? How do I get that? Oh, I can't do that until I get the sea market. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll get a bunch of these recipes at the fish market. I assume I have to purchase them. Uh, okay. Well then. I actually appreciate that a lot of the recipes are unlocked through the cooking. Like, it's not just mix things together until go, or whatever. And it doesn't matter if someone tells you about it or not. You just, you have to learn how to do it, and you do that through practice. I think that's just a, a fun way of doing it. Like, some of the recipes you get from the market, but then all the other ones are like, once you move beyond that. I think that's a lot of fun. So many fish cakes. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go till the uh, the three sages that we've completed their trials. Oh, my dog does a fucking strutty half like sideways sprint here. Dogs are showing off, stunting on me. Hey, y'all. Wait, what? I did the thing. Oh, I have to go to the sea market. I've already done the stunting on them. Nintendo had a Toronto office? <laughs> Excuse me? 
What the hell did they do there? Probably marketing. Yeah. 30 different species. Okay, so how many is that out of the book? Big book of British smiles here. Oh yeah, we got that first page. So how many fish are there? Well, four, eight, twelve... 16, 24, 28, 32, Jesus, 36, now you're just being mean, 39, 43, God, 47, 51, 53, 55, oh my God, 59, 63, 67, 71, 75, uh, 79, uh, 83, <laughs> losing count here, 87, uh, where am I, 91, 95, 99, oh my god, 103, 107, 101, uh, 105, 109, 113, 17, 21, Oh my god. 25. 29. 33. 37. 141? Does that sound right? <laughs> I wonder if there's a PEI version of this game. But instead of fish, it's just different kinds of potatoes and the way they cook and grow them. Har 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 har. Good evening, T3. How are you? Boy, there's a lot of fish to catch in this game, huh? Alright, let's go reopen the fish market while my dog continues to stunt. PI version would probably still involve fish, but yeah, it would have significantly more potatoes. Wait, do I buy the reinforced hull off of you? That's what I want to know. You. Yeah, I literally can't make fish burgers yet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to follow her to work. My dog while we wait. Wait, are you not going to work? Alright, fine, whatever. I'm gonna get targeted by PI residents for saying this. Everyone knows PI is all about the potatoes. They have other things too, like uh, a complete inability to provide uh, abortion access. Um, and other things, I'm sure. <laughs> Earth all me, welcome to the sea market. We're finally back in business. Okay. Let me give you the tour. First, the fishmonger. Should you ever need fish or fresh ingredients in a pinch? There's the bait exchange, essential for luring different species. You didn't know that? Yup. Um, if. Oh. Hold on. Sorry, I'm on kid duty tonight. What the fuck, Canada? I mean, okay. It's not all of Canada. This, this is specifically PEI. But... Um, your access to abortion is not actually worked into the um, health charter uh, in Canada. It's not in there yet. It's covered under a bunch of other things, but it is not part of the intrinsic level of healthcare within Canada. Which is why PI cannot have it. Yeah, abortion didn't exist when we had our wrote our constitution. Yes, but it's been amended since, and that part has yet to be amended into it. Um, but that is why PI doesn't have it. Abortion. Well, okay, it didn't exist. So, 
Anyways, I'm sure there's other nice stuff about PEI, but uh, that is literally a reason I wouldn't move there. I have three daughters. I don't want to go somewhere that, should they require an abortion, uh, they would have to literally cross, you know, a border. Finally, there's a resident culinary guru, Kevin Rode, for recipes and cooking supplies. Ah, there we go. Oh, cool. Town Hall. One of my uh, poor friends had seven daughters. Now, I don't... Okay. Couldn't get a guy. Perhaps... Perhaps that, uh, having that many was not the correct uh, method. Uh, what do you do when you're not attending the bake scene, Trace? Uh, okay. How many kids? Okay. Teach me your ways. Oh, you're the bait person. Oh, I don't care about this. You can swap raw or low fish and high grade. Okay. Oh, cool. Hmm. Okay, so we just got jobs. Cool. Is, uh, cares a lot about this place. The whole town, in fact. 20 years ago, okay. This whole hometown was relocated. No longer exists. Oof, that sucks. I should be preparing a little something to mark his 20th year. Hmm. We have Beast O' The Ice. And you sell... You just, okay, you just sell fish. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm the guy of my family due to some problems I might not be able to procreate and I could care less. Eh, hey, don't have kids if you don't want kids, my dude. <laughs> That's... <laughs> um, yeah. No, uh, continuing to have children just because you uh, really want a boy is, in my personal opinion, irresponsible. If you want to have a bunch of kids because you want to have a bunch of kids, I mean... That's also arguably irresponsible, but at least you're doing it for a much better reason. In this day and age, the whole requiring an heir thing is uh, kind of buck wild. Uh, yes, you're studying abroad. We're Fran not France. Why does everyone assume every chef studies in France? There are other countries that take culinary arts seriously. <laughs> so you went to Italy. Okay. Uh, please just teach me food. Uh-huh. 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 Filet knife. Got three fish proficiently and it's all yours. So is this a new skill? Yeah. Huh. Uh, what, what do you have a bunch of kids because you like porking and hate rubber? I mean... Learn your partner's schedule. Get yourself a vasectomy. Put it in the butt. There are options. There are options. <laughs> Where's that fall on the responsibility scale? What part? If, if you like having sex and don't want to wear a rubber, and you, I mean, if you're with a consistent partner, I mean, a vasectomy is your easiest option. Some don't like butt stuff. Some people probably also don't like ejecting seven children out of their vaginas. You know, there, like I said, there are options. After the fifth one, it becomes a routine transaction. Nah, you can still have fun. Uh, doing it all, but uh, quite frankly, it seems like a bad investment. Uh, takes practice, more recipes to cook, more likely to devise your own. Yes. Oh my god, please just let me buy your recipes. Oh, these are dirt cheap. No, they're not actually dirt cheap, but they're pretty cheap. What do we got? Uh, so I know someone actually wants the fish burger, so let's just purchase that one. Uh, Chowda. Buy some of these cheap recipes. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, 
Uh, so, wait, do I go upstairs? No. Okay. Ah, you're doing relatively all right. You finished writing company on a simple assembly program, which I built in Linux. Okay, cool. I was able to understand what you're doing, which is a surprise. That's always nice. It's nice when your knowledge hits a certain point where you start doing stuff and you're like, I, I know what's happening. It is always a nice uh, feeling. I'll throw out a thesis statement and research question for my final project, one of my classes, which I'm absolutely dreading to complete. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta bite that bullet. I have found when doing stuff like that, just attack it head on. You, like, you don't necessarily have to finish it in one go. And in fact, that's almost impossible to do with big tasks. But just do it first. Attack it. Take, like, take a chunk out of it, and then you can move on. It's better just to do it, like, a little bit, attack it every day, as opposed to putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then, uh, you know, having to do it on a short window. <laughs> Basically what Pokemon Freak said. I mean, I did that in college a lot. I, I did that a lot. And quite frankly, I don't recommend it. As an older, wiser, far more old man now, don't do it. Everyone will do it. My advice will fall upon deaf ears. But it is really better just to take a hard, pro uh, hard task, break it down into as small steps as you kind of can, and then just start chipping away at them. And if a task doesn't make sense, it means you just have to break that step down more. Chip it down until you can start to isolate bits that make sense. Just rinse and repeat. Anyways. Gartholomew, perfect timing. Back me up here. Mayor Trembly requests no insists that I single-handedly manage catering for the centennial. Personnel, stock, licenses, scalability. Can't stop looking about this man's uh, beard clips into his shirt. Listen, however that man's beard works. Uh, well, dude's arms are also clipping into his shirt. He needs to select a topic to, for a class to research. Uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. You're overreacting. You're being unreasonable. There's no one else, Paris, without you. There's no drinks, no fish, no food, no festival. There's no festival. Oh, dang. <laughs> Shit, he called my bluff. God damn it. That man's infuriating. The centennial is supposed to be a celebration. If the whole town's been asleep for years, and now the whale's gone, something has taken its place. Something furious. The waking storm. Half the town believes a particular fish is the cause. Is there anything you can do? Well, I can't change the weather, but I could certainly try catching this legendary fish. Maybe detaching the myth from the maelstrom will make everyone come to their senses. Oh, Myth and the Maelstrom is my favorite band. They do, uh, like, a, a high-energy metal thing, talking about uh, fantasy stories. They open for Nightwish, yeah, and uh, Dream Theater. Catch a fish and then eating it would be the same as laying an egg and then making an omelet as a dragon. <laughs> okay, dog, you're still hanging out here, huh? Hi. What you got, Reese? What you got for me? Galley. Ah, there's the reinforced hull. Okay. So I need 500 bucks. I need to make effectively $1,300 to upgrade our boat into something swank. Alright. Oh. And I can't donate any of these fish. Correct? Correct. Alright. And these fish are forfeit. They're four fish. Uh, before we do that, let's go check out some of these other objectives. Because, hey, side quests. If we're not going to get derailed, what's the point? Uh, where are we? A little bit more. Oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay, hold on. Okay, where the hell is this quest? Behind me. In here? Is it you? No. Okay, what? Okay, are you going to talk to me about things? Stuff and things? Oh, I've got to sleep. Your soul is forfeit. Ew. Yeah, hold on. Let's have a look at the quest list here. Yeah, reinforce the hull. Invest in town renovations. Come, piece of the ice. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I need... Oh, okay. Oh, the pin is inside the... Okay. And let's go help the doctor. Little doctor. Oh. After I tell my daughter to go back to sleep. Hello. Hey. Ah. Bye. Oh, jeez. Paris is among my oldest friends. A real stalwart of the community. Okay. Yeah, my assistant's been gone a curious long while. Would you be able to deliver a few prescriptions? Yeah. This guy's slowly evolving into Dr. Phil. Could you go and deliver some prescriptions for me? I'm not a real doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, one. All right, everyone's being kind of shitty with me, but all right. Oh, of course someone's up the goddamn mountain. Ugh. Hate getting up the mountain. I can never remember where the entrance is. But yeah, if you catch and eat the legendary fish, you get their power, T3. Everyone knows that's how that works. God, it's like you've never caught a legendary fish before. Wait, is that it? Yes. Okay. We'll go cook up the rest of the fish I have in my person before we head back out onto the sea. Now, don't you think that you're just being a little bit unreasonable with this so-called depression? You should just be happy. Mm. Oh. But poor Georgetown said she departed yesterday. Her must boat must be stranded. <gasps> oh, no. All right. Mm. Yeah, we just covered this. Broken glaciers. We, like, we literally just... Okay. We'll totally, totally do that. Give me a second. Totally, totally getting to it. Uh, we need to master this. Let's just keep doing it. So I guess as I get more, like, so right now, like, I get the chop option here, but, like, certain fish will require me to do a different game using my fancy knife. Again, I think that's kind of neat, the fact that they will actually change up the, the mini games around it as you get more fancy fish. Or more fancy uh, recipes, I should say. There we go. New recipe. I never have to cook crab cakes again. Uh, though I literally don't have anything else I can make. Let's just... And bait. Okay. Alright, 
let's get on the boat. And then we gotta go, okay, up there. You're nihilist? Okay. Life is pointless? Okay. If you find life to be pointless, I think you'd be stressing a lot less about, uh, the, the test stuff that you gotta do. Like your assignments. Everything's pointless. Might as well be nice and happy. I mean, if you—that's if that's your takeaway from it, that's good. It's a healthier way of looking at it. Oh, I can't get that one. Seriously. There we go. That was a lot of lobster. All right, now swing around. Doo -doo. Don't think boats can pivot like that? Mine can, baby. Oh, hi. Just standing there, huh? You're in shorts. How are you not exceedingly dead? Real talk, I don't know why my my actual view on life. I'm sure it'll just be a reckoning at a later date. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we all find our meaning. Whatever that is, right? Gartholomew, there. Get us in close. Hooray! I did it. I saved the day. I'm so cool and thoughtful. Now, if I could just find... There we go. I need to mine some fish real quick. Imagine if life was being a Herbie Jim Beacon Canadian would actually give you fr uh, a frost resistance. <clears throat> I think I you say that, but I actually think it's like it's a frost resistance, but it's a charisma check because it's a bluff, and you have to you're actually tricking yourself into believing it. Because I know a lot of Canadians that are, that absolutely hate the fucking cold, despite living here our whole lives. <laughs> This real life version. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of being able to bluff yourself into having a cold resistance. Or maybe it's like, it's more of an ability of like, if you have to do a cold, kind of some kind of like cold resistance, you have to roll a charisma check. And then if you pass, you get like advantage on the roll or something like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. Let's go down to the Pershing Isles real quick. I just want to do some fishing. Try and catch some resilient fish. Uh, you can also do take 1d4 damage. Yeah, you still take a little bit of damage. Uh, have a good night. I'm going to watch someone else play Duskers. Fair enough. 
listen to your voice and the gameplay and stuff and i had to bed but i also want to watch the gameplay hey no hey bud <laughs> you know <laughs> you're like that's fine you know watch what you like i appreciate you swinging by like absolutely go watch people playing games that, that you enjoy like by all means You have yourself a good night, T3. Cheers. Uh, ooh, that's new. Water babies. Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's try and actually catch some things. <laughs> that's horrifying. It is, isn't it? Terrible. Okay. I really should look at the achievement for what fish I'm supposed to release. Oh, right. Beast of the Ice. Where can I find that? You know what? I can probably ask in the, uh, in the bar or whatever. All right. Uh, all right. Let's scoot on back. Better than the ice area? Sure. But there's probably something else to it. Like, I don't think it's just in the ice area. Like, it might be at night time, or with certain lures, or with high-quality bait only, or, you know, etc, etc. kid is snoring. I have 22 lobsters. Let's cook six of them. Hot diggity. Why can I suddenly do more at a time? Is it because I'm better at it? Am I better at it? I thought this was still a novice one. There we go. New recipe. What did I unlock? Surf and turf. All right. All right, let's make six of that. All right, so, oil fish. Oh, that's too well done. It's seasoning. Didn't I need that at one point? Yeah, I think it did, actually. Fry up the seasoning? I mean, sometimes you gotta do a little reduction. Uh, uh, yeah. Have I donated the white belly? Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll just pick it up. If I caught three of them, they're not that rare. Mm, fish chowder. Do I have any ling? I do have some ling. Let's cook those up.
There's only three. If you catch all three in one instance, you have to release at least two of them. You're only ever allowed to catch one at a time. Many fish. Oh, no. Well, everything's ruined forever. Literally inedible. It shouldn't smell like burnt fish. I didn't cook it long enough. If anything, it's gonna kill someone. Or, you know, parasites or whatever. Do I have anything else I can cook? Oh god, I've still got more things I can cook. Um Hold on. What requires more boiled lobster knowledge? Octopus, uh, sea market, sea market, sizzling fish, crab, 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 crab oh. uh, fish fingies, fish tacos, sizzling fish, boiled lobster intermediate. There we go. Let's boil some more lobsters. So many boiled lobsters. This is a delicacy in Ontario. Here in the East Coast, it's just peasant food. There. Pop those in there. Pop all 16 of them <laughs> into there. It's so many boiled. Um, yeah, somebody wanted a surf and turf, right? Let's just hold on to that. A whole fish. Ling Ling. And fish fingies. There we go. Quest probably expired. I don't know if that was a quest or if that was just something somebody wanted. Alright. Uh, hey Doc. You've been... It's 3.25 in the morning. What you doing outside? Oh, thank goodness. What incredible luck you were there. It wasn't luck. You had the doctor word sick. Oh. Boo. Mix Fisher. Uh, Legaya um, escaped her ordeal with only... Oh, wait, sorry. <clears throat> Mix Fisher. Legaya escaped with only a... her ordeal with only minor abrasions. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> You can't. I mean, you don't have to. It's not like no reward shall be worthy. That's actually what we meant. Huh. There's one thing I like to do. Repair the office. The bay's going to get busier. I'd like to help out. Oh. I certainly won't refuse. And I don't know where the... I was supposed to be Dr. Phil. I don't know where this voice went. 
I certainly won't refuse. And I'm glad to see Paris has retained his great taste in friends. All right. One down. Uh, and we need to make a buttload of money so that we can buy the upgrades for our boat. Um, what is this? All right. Oop. Hold on a sec. Come on, y'all. I got things to do. There we go. Oh? Oh, there we go. Oh, alright, I should have slept. Hi. I would like, uh, I want the boat upgrade first, please. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I have enough to do everything. Oh shit, where did I get all that money from? Hot diggity damn, hold on. That, I, I, when I walked into that store, I had way less money. Alright, uh, reinforce. And galley. You sold a bunch of stuff as you walked in. Well, alright then. Okay. Oh. Hell yeah! What? It's 300 for the next upgrade. Okay. Oh. You have to uh, patch up boats and patching up people, that's a physician's job. Okay. Oh. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna fix up the... Oh wait, I actually have to like... Fix that now, don't I? Now the hull strength, then we can face the giant waves of the waking storm. Okay. Oh, look at this Howie Mandel 90s looking ass guy. Hey, you, where'd he go? What the? Oh my god, he was a ghost. Aha! Here's Surf and Turf. <laughs> what guy? <gasps> Howie Mandel's been dead for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> what it cuts to like showing America's Got Talent and let's make a deal is that the name of the show and there's no host there the whole time <laughs> this is such a stupid like early 2000s cartoon joke in fact I can literally remember they did that on Clone High oh man fuck <sighs> anyways here's your surf and turf do I like gossip? Melissa Carth and Brenna Walters once had a decree in a town hall. As of this week, they haven't spoken to each other for 15 years. Oh. Exotic pet ownership. Melissa's keen on capybaras, but Brenna dismissed the idea as a ludicrous fantasy. The servitor smells divine. We'll have to do this again. Okay. Did that actually give me any information? Like, is, was there anything actionable there? Or was that just fun?
Oh yeah, you want fish burger. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, how do I... Oh, there we go. Okay, so. $500 reduce to fix up the, uh... The, uh... Doc's office. Okay. Let me know Captain Bars in Canada. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go catch a fancy fish. Oh, I can weigh anchor now. Cool. Ooh, look at that. Fun little kitchen. All right. Do do do. Do do Alright, so where are we going? Over there. Almost directly east. $429. Okay, we've almost got. At the end of the day, we should have money for the doc's office. No, not the doc's office. Where you go, doc's people. me we're in the heart of the storm. I hope you found something. Down there, the anglers were right. A strange new fish. We can't stay here. The lightning's too dangerous. Excuse me? What do you mean? What? Do I actually have to go? Are you fucking for real? I have to... How fucking dare you? How dare you? you need the four I need you need lightning rods installed. You need to get the, whatever the hell it is, the Thunder Helmet. Yeah, go fight the Yuga Clan. some of these trash fish for my base food. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Moving on. And cook some more crap up. Uh, fish kebab. What can I unlock? Can something else, does something else require fish kebab? Glaze Mahi Mahi, Smoked Haddock, Sea Market, Culinary Skill, Whole Fish, Pan Fried Eel, Pan Fried Eel, Fish Bowl, Fish Pie, sh Shark Steak, Lobster Roll, Boy, uh, okay, so there's fancier lobster roll, Fish Burger, Steamed Purple Tail, Crab Rice, Fish Pastry, Help a Certain Someone, okay, Bam Chowder, Okay, so it doesn't look like I need to cook this for anything other than money. Lobster roll ingredients, any shrimp. Hold on. Hang on now. Uh, we needed to cook one of these. Let's do that before I use the fish by accident. God, the way she uses her knife is very concerning. 
Okay, cook another thing. Get some tacos. Oh, again. Have I mastered... Wait, fish cakes. Have I mastered fish cakes? I think I have, right? Because that's how I get fish kebabs. Yeah, I don't think I have to make them anymore. But they also cost me nothing to make. Big Belly Goldfish. I don't think I've donated those yet. I appreciate that they give you a recipe which is like the most basic recipe. Like it doesn't cost anything to make cells but it requires you to do like every mini game as like payment okay now can i cook anything oh my god i still can uh yeah no let's make make some more bait More bait. Right, there we go. Cool. Okay, we got. Oh, oh wait, I gotta deposit the things in the thing, so I can sell the things and make thing. Scratch hole right about town. Oh, can I auto cook the bait now? I didn't see that. Uh, yes, here we go. Single handedly repair the. That feels suspicious, but thank you for the follow. Alright, cool. Uh, cool, so... It is no longer unsafe to get your healing done. Uh, there. Uh, what's next, what's next, what's next? Alright, we gotta go talk to the drunk fisherman about the zip-zap fish so we can capture the zip-zap fish and eat it. Suck out its eyeballs and eat its heart in front of its family. Establish dominance. Whoa, frame rates just dropped again. Absolute tanked. Right. God, how many eels do I have? I must have so many. I have 14 <laughs> eels. Oh, is this a recipe? I have... Kitchen guide, though. Modern chef. Oh, that's what teaches me how to... Oh. I brought an... I bought an upgrade so I can cook more things at once. Got it, got it, got it. I was wondering how that happened. I thought I bought a recipe. I didn't. I bought uh, a competency. Hey, you. The drunk one. Elvis. I regret this, but the stormfish, it's real. What can you tell me? You behold the dweller of the waking storm. 
I don't remember this guy's accent, so here we are. The denizen of the vengeful furor, master of the tempest eternal. Okay. Aye, the deep sea lightning fish. The devious beast shall rain a scourge and torment and destruction upon. Cool, 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 cool. Now we can go. Oh my god. I did these in the wrong order. You. Tell me about the fish. Yeah. A massive striped eel with a shuttable antenna stretching towards the tail surfaces to feed during a thunderstorm. It's extremely rare, near impossible to study. No, I never heard of it. Why have you discovered one? Uh, lightning proof your vessel as best you can. Ensure the tall standing objects in the surrounding water to uh, redirect the current. Add to that being knocked around in the surf, it'll be a challenge. Oh my god, we actually have to get fucking lightning rods. I made a joke about that. I was joking. We actually do need the, the lightning helmet for our boat. Well. Here we are. That'll cost three million dollars. Hi. Seventy-five dollars. Hot diggity. Hey. God, we are eating ramen tonight. Okay. So. Let's see. We got lightning rod. Hold on. Subdue stormfish. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. God damn it. So we want to go back to where we were, and then we'll figure it out once we're there. Bad piloting on my part. There we go. Sick drifts. The boat drifts a little more, actually. She's not quite as nimble now that she's got a galley. Oh, what is that? What is that zapper again? That her handle's like a bistro? No, there's a second half to it. She looks like a something, but she handles like a bistro. Ooh, we got music now. All right, here we go. That thing also got a harpoon sticking out of its back. Who the hell keeps harpooning all these goddamn fish? No oh, lightning resume. Can't stay forever. Redirect the lightning with tall objects in the water. All right. Okay, tall things in the water. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, that's still not what I wanted to do. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Okay. She's, yeah, she's built like a steakhouse, but handles like a bistro. Thank you. A classic Brannigan quote. Okay, so we start with this, right? Pull these up. And then I think the idea... Well, that's not physics, but whatever. Of 
real question is, is knocking them over again? Or... Okay, you know, let's just... Just go for it, shall we? Come here. No, come back. Ah, oh, goddamn. Hey, you. Oh, it does knock him over. No, come back. Ah. Fine, can I pick this back up while I'm here? I mean, if I'm here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this is probably not a good spot to be. Uh, ow. Uh, how's one reel it in? I think it was on it. Stop hitting my boat, you asshole. Stop hitting my boat, you asshole. <laughs> Maybe I should be parked right right where it is all the time, huh? Yeah, the monsters are in escalating difficulty, but they're also escalating in, like, I don't understand mechanic here. Like, okay, pick these things up, they redirect the lightning, got that part. But I don't really know how to actually, like, capture the friggin' thing. Is step one, I have to pull them all up? Nope, doing that. Keep doing that. So that's all of them up now, right? Now what? Like, what's what is the play here? Like, it's not that. Fish it? I'm trying. It's not letting me. Like, I would love to. More aggressive? How? How uh, like, hit it with my boat? to let it bite oh i actually have to fish it huh okay all right let's give that a spin i mean sure it's not a it's not a fish like last time it's a whale right so yeah maybe that's actually the actual play is to just treat it like a fish
So then I think now it comes into the middle. Because I've activated all the things, right? So if that's the case... Let's see. What's he gonna do? Okay, now he's coming to the middle. Oh, yep. Oh, shit. Whoa, what? Excuse me? Get in here. Yeah, music's picking up. My boat's also falling fuck apart, so. Okay, what's going on? Because, okay, I managed to hook it there. And then I'm just snapping my line every time. And I'm using my strong rod. You need to check the buoys? Check them for what, exactly? What, what am I... Oh. Oh, is this like a multi-stage, like I have to fish it a couple times kind of thing? You think? My boat is falling apart. I'm going to have to get towed. Uh, unless I figure this out real quick. I think you have directions when you're fishing backwards. I don't understand. What is that? Sorry, what? I don't understand what that particular sentence means. You need to go in the same direction as the fish. Oh, I thought you were supposed to pull against them. Have I been fishing wrong this whole time? It's certainly possible. That went, that was me going with it. That, nope. That was me going with it. That did not work even kind of. Do I, does he have to be in the middle? Can I fish him from any direction? Hold on. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. Maybe going with him in the middle is a bad idea. Hold on. This seems frustrating. It is because the instructions are very unclear. Okay, let's pick one of you up. My boat is uh, getting absolute shit kicked out of it and I don't really know what to do about this.
Oh wait. Go on. I think I'm trying to remove the rod. Am I? The lightning rod thing? In the back? Okay, and how do I do that? Because what I'm currently doing obviously ain't working very well, so I'm I'm missing the trick here. Like this, but aim for the rod in the middle. But I tried that, and that definitely didn't work. Aim better? It's not... The game has a bit of an auto-aim feature when you're, like, looking at the thing. And it's not there. Nope. Oh, come on. Or do I need to be near one of these things, is my question. Like, what if I try fishing him near one of the lightning rods? Like, what if I do this? Cool. No? Yeah, things highlight, and also drags your cursor over. See? Notice how it's not highlighting him even kind of. Right now. Or the other thing. So it, it will kind of auto-target if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. The only thing that has worked thus far is flip all these up, and then it goes into the middle, and then I can fish it, and then it kicks the shit out of my boat. So. So I'm missing the trick on what to do after that. Okay, is that all of them up? Now you're just sitting still. So maybe now I have a, an opportunity of attack. He's just kind of sitting there. Instantly zap, uh, did something there. Get in. Get in. Here we go. Okay, okay, the lightning, it's, it is lighting up now. There we go. Get in. There we go. Jesus. That was ass awkward. Zantana, what did you do? <laughs> I stole it. It was an accident. It was earned. Marina said it was shedable, right? It'll grow back? Wait, where's it going? It's retreating. It's had enough. Frankly, who could blame it? Yeah, I did literally just rip something out of its back. Yeah, fuck you too. Oh no! Wait, hold on. My dog! <gasps> My dog! <laughs> How dare you! Asshole. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna flee you. How dare you? Go after my sweet dog. Waffles, don't ever scare me like that again. 
Oh, hey, cool. Ancient door. <laughs> what is that? It's me just the storm subsiding. Maybe, but it has nothing to do with the legendary yeah. stormfish. Well, we're just not going to talk about the door. Fucking super big fancy door. It's right here. Seems important. <gasps> what do you reckon? 100 years old? I, th I think it might be older than 100 years. No obvious opening mechanism, at least on this side. Uh, I can't take the two cats across those shells. We're going to need a smaller boat. We're going to need a smaller boat. <laughs> All right. Uh, if we're gonna need a dinghy, go on spare. Yeah, we're gonna need an extra boat. Oh, the feeding founders. Okay. Ask about the ocean door. Someone in town must know something about the ocean door on the edge of the hot springs. I think we're on to another moon glow mystery. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. So that one's done. All right. Not, not having a dinghy or something in a boat. I know. What kind of scrubs are we? Okay, well, since we're here, gotta make money. Boat repairs ain't gonna, ain't gonna figure, call, uh, do themselves. What do you got? Okay, okay. Oh, that was a new one. Walk shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Another box. Oh, boxer shrimp. Got it. Got a box of shrimp. Better keep it brief. I didn't know you worked for Nintendo. Not anymore. <laughs> well, they did just close the office, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. cool. Uh, maybe we should just do some straight up fishing out here. What we got? Another shock koi. Looks I'm a little surprised, that's all. Razor tooth coraler. Okay. There we go, some money. Black drum. Want to face that in a fight? I think we can do better. Maybe it's something about its bites worse than its bark. Keep catching these, it's fine. I'm gonna use them for food. Okay, redfish. Okay, actually, next thing we're gonna do. Alright, I can cook on my boat. Let's get four hours of technical sleep.
Let's cook some crap. Oh yeah, let's start making jerkfish poutine. Oh, this is way too complicated. Oh no. Wash it with seawater. Seems kind of pointless. Chop it. Oh, this is way too much work. I'm, o I'm only ever doing this one in bulk from here on in. Oh god, from this angle you can see, uh, see them double fisting the knives. <laughs> okay, gravy, boil gravy. Yeah, I'm never making that on its own ever again. Cheesy crazy. Uh, can I make lots of tacos? Uh, I can make four tacos. Get fish. Jump fish. Fry the fish. Bread. Chop bread. I love the thumbs up. She's got like bandages on her thumbs. <laughs> More stuff. Um, I'm just gonna do just the coraler with that, right? Oh, I can make some of these. Okay. Get fish. Boil fish. Get steak. Fry steak. Now that's a better steak fry. There you go. Get seasoning. Fry the seasoning. That seasoning is blackened. Okay. Uh, what else can I cook? Oh, I can cook all kinds of other stuff here. All right. So, yeah. No, I'm not using that because I need that. I need to donate that. Uh, do I have any shitty? Nope. Okay. So, fish and chips. Uh. Do I don't need a snapper? Hold on. Let's check the book. I think I qualified that as catching it, but all right. Uh, I have. Okay. Do you. Do you. Nope, not you. Uh, three, four, yeah. There we go. Sorry, huh? Uh, maybe we'll look. Oh, that's literally labeled as boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah get fish. Chop fish. Chop, chop, chop. Fry fish. Extremely fried. Get potatoes. Uh, chop potatoes. Boil potatoes. It's a little, a little cheeky that they use the exact same mini game for this as they do washing. Uh, okay. What can I still make? Uh, I can make one more. Okay. Chop 
potatoes. Boil the potatoes again. I love the little whistle. Boiling is in a circle. Mm hmm. Skedaddle. My poor little boat that's had the absolute piss beaten out of it. Oh, I can pick up all my lobsters on the way, too. Even more things to cook. Oh wow, I never noticed the sun actually rises on the little indicator. I thought it was static, but it's not. Wow, look at all this bait I'm gonna get to auto-make. Check out all those lobsters, indeed. Nary a lobster to be found. <laughs> all right. That's all right. We'll just, we'll make, we'll auto, we'll, we'll do the auto prep. We haven't, we haven't done that yet, so. Oh my God, I have so much bait. Okay. Uh, auto cook, neat. That's cool. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Hey, what do you think the maximum amount of bait we can have is? Do you think we're going to cap out at uh, 99? Nope. Fantastic. Oops. Oh, well, whatever. There we go. Right now, let's actually go back to town. Manual bait. Well, you know, you can't get you can't get too far away from your your roots. You know, sometimes you just got to do it yourself. You automate everything away, and there's just something lost in it. You know. Now, about that capitalism. I'm not, I'm not doing the joke. I, I see the joke. I see it. I'm not doing it. So what do we got to do here? We got something in Greenfeld Homes still. Not quite sure what that is. Or no, that's not in Greenfeld Homes. That's in the sea market, right? Hold on. No, there's two. Hold on. Okay, here we go. <sighs> what well, thought you? What does that oaf of mayor want me to do now? Look around. There's no fish, no money, no market, and all because of that cursed stormfish. Yeah, I fixed that. It was an eel. So tell your suppliers they can get back to work. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just being asked to make arrangements for the centennial, but what do we have to celebrate? We'll run, look around and shut your mouth. People have infinite money. Just come on, get to, get people spending. We all want the same thing, but we're pulling in the wrong direction. The answers aren't out in the bay, the ruin, the stormfish. They're right here. Moonglow Bay, bay just needs support to be useful again. And time to heal. Well, so what do we do? Leave it to me, I'm gonna speak to the man in charge. Am I? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Uh, I got 200 and some odd dollars. You! God? Uh, yeah, teach me. Teach me things. 
Yeah, max batch size. Give me that max size. Um, how much money do I have? 267. See that one? 200. Yeah. There we go. Oh. For the moment, anyways. There we go. I can now cook more things at once. So we get to snowball my uh, snowball my cooking capacity a little bit here. What do you sell? All right, you want more lobster? I can just give you lobsters. So what do you sell? Increase the sale of all fish. Increase the meal. Oh, meals. Second of three vending machines we have in stock. It's all the three just outside. Okay. Oh, interesting. They get installed at different parts around town. I wonder if that helps. Okay, let's uh, go donate some fish. We'll talk to the mayor, and I think that is a good spot to call for this evening. Hello. You are Do you not want those? Okay. That also sounds like an incredible pain in the butt to keep stock. Yes, it does. What? You know, we haven't actually looked around here. Look at all these fish. That's too small a cage. Cage? Aquarium. For that many fish. Oh lord. The sulfur zone? I haven't even been to the sulfur zone. Uh, the ice zone? Oh god, there's so much. Alright. Uh, oh, hold on. There's something I can do right over here. Hello? Oh, oh right. Uh huh. Uh, okay. I need to need some for the shallows. Ah! The jungle king. Okay. It's a large species that swims around perching isles and it'll keep me fed for a week. Okay. So to get the dinghy, we need to get that dude a fish. Okay. What do I even need to do in here? Wait, is it not open yet? How dare the bar not be open at 11 a.m.? I can't believe how much fishing this game was to do. Yeah, when do I get my sword? This is ridiculous. This is the longest tutorial. Oh, there go my frames. Okay, team crisis mode. The treasury's dry. What's the solution? Oh, uh, we could sell off resources. Like what? For half a decade, the only meaningful thing this town's produced is folklore. We're opening the library we must take priority. Who knows what knowledge we're keeping locked away? Uh, this town wants fish, fish again, let him fish, mend the harbor. I've already forgotten this guy's voice. But before then, we must restore a sense of heritage and pride, fix the clock tower. Oh. Silence. Oh, Gartholmia, you been staying there long? Uh-huh. Allow me to introduce... The triplets? Mm. One of you is literally in Cloud Strife's outfit uh, when he has to break into the Honeybee Inn. That would be you, Lily. My exhausting family. Okay. Like, she's 100% in, like, Cloud's kimono and has the same hairstyle. The harbor, the clock tower, and the library. Okay, cool. Okay, this is a really long scene. 
to just have your be mad at you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Hey, I forgot I could just do bulletin board stuff to make money instead of just cooking infinite fish. Mm hmm. It was barely scraped by selling catches from the bay, you say, after we spend almost $2,000 on our boat. Okay. Uh, hope, but first we need a small boat. We'll never cross guys' shells without it. Okay. Uh huh. You heard my husband's decree no money for the library until the heart, and other things are. Okay, so where are those? Where's the harp? Where's. Okay, hold on. Harbor's gonna be down at the harbor. That makes a little bit of sense. Right? Is this not the harbor? Oh no, you're at the end. Okay. How much for this? Oh god, I have to talk to you first? I sure do. Fantastic. Uh-huh. We need some talk some minions to clean up the driftwood. Okay. Okay. So I have to get in my boat and fish crap up for you. Okay. And then give you money. And the clock tower's where all the ghosts are. Ugh, fun oh, actually, it kind of is. Of the Kelser Cornerstone of our town, the landmark of our heritage. Of oh, just, just please. Right. Just hope you'll walk by and ask them nicely to give me their money. Uh huh. For speech, offer food. Five dishes to entice donors. Okay. Where's the clock tower? Can I even see the clock tower? What am I investing in right now? I can't even see the dang dang thing. What 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 is the shit you're trying to pull? Yeah, I just want to get like all the various quests started. Like by talking to whoever the hell I have to talk to. And then I'm gonna save and call for the evening. Boy howdy, are we gonna have a lot to do next week when I don't remember anything? Uh, hold on. Whoop. Go back. Oh, it's you. I have to actually talk to you? Okay. Okay, no. It's, that's not... Come here. Hi. Uh, the Ocean Door was built by the Ulet Twins, the founders of Moonglow. Known as the Feuding Founders, if you believe the stories. That's a four. End with the lit twins. You should try the library. Okay, so we won't know about that until you can open the library. Because of course. Potential. <laughs> yeah, alright. There could be anything over there. There could even be a boat. Uh okay, so we've got like one, two, we've got so many objectives. Uh, okay. Is that everything kind of activated? So he wants five meals. Do they have to be different meals? Or can I give you five of the same thing? Clear the driftwood. Uh. Uh, sure. Okay. So I have to do these two things and then we can help with the uh, town hall. Uh, crossing the shallows, which means we have to fish out 
a large species local to Perching Isles. And I can't get large fish without good bait. So I have to trade up so, for some, some good bait. Um, and then Feuding Founders, we can't do anything until we get the Town Hall fixed. And then we got Beast of the Ice, which... Oh, can I go... Can I go talk to someone to learn a thing now at the bar? You guys got anything? All right, no. Useless. There we go. Hi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Opulent Skycaster. The mere glance will evoke a profound ex existential dread. Groundhog sea bug. Okay. What else you got for me? Alright. What do you got for me, if anything? I should see the old upholstery. Ketchup chips. Grilled oysters. Okay. I don't know why you just signed yourself up for grilled oysters. That's like a whole thing, but alright. Okay. Let's go this way. We'll head home. Um, and then we will save. And we will call it there. Because, whoops, it's 1230. Actually, I've got 300 bucks. No, first I'm gonna do the sea market real quick. See if I can do whatever I have to do with the stupid sea market. Okay, uh, over here is the bait. So we're gonna need this, and I will absolutely forget about this. So. Okay, cool. And you're gonna give me 14 high quality bait. Okay. Yeah. I can learn a couple more things. $200 for even more expertise. Uh, no, I'm gonna take the grilled oyster recipe because I don't know how to make that. Alright. <laughs> I literally need that for. Uh, JP. So. All right. Is there anything I can cook right now before going to bed? I don't think so. All right. Yes. Yeah, go to sleep. You haven't slept in days. to kick over. There we go. And save. Uh, uh, yep. Firm. There we go. Alright. It already does that. But, oh, alright. Okay. Ugh. So, hey. I would qualify that as progress made. I've defeated two bosses, and now we have a billion fetch quests to do. Um, I gotta uh, catch uh, a big fish in the ice that I have no idea how to do yet. I gotta catch the, the jungle king, which I at least have the bait for now. I have to continue restoring everything in the town because nobody knows how to do things themselves. So, yeah. We got we, we we done got some quests to do, uh, but that is gonna do it for me uh, tonight. So, uh, yeah, I will be back on Monday with more Eastward. I have a feeling next week will be the last week for Eastward. 
Um, I don't, I don't know if I actually want to do the mini game in it. Maybe we do. I don't know. I don't know if I just want to just play through the game because that's just a separate game. So maybe we play that after. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it all plays out. Anyways, I will be back on Monday with uh, more Eastward. So, yeah. Uh, it would not surprise me if it was important. I, I know there's achievements you can get through it if you beat it twice. I think there's achievements because you can't in order to get all of the the little gasha guys you have to play through it once and then the second time around you can unlock the rest of the things but other than that i don't know how plot intrinsic it is but, but i guess we'll find out um regardless uh yeah i'll be back monday with eastward and yeah I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. And also, Pomo Freak, I do appreciate. We'll see more. You fetch a good quest. Um, that's gonna do it for me tonight. So, as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, wear your goddamn mask, get your vaccinations. I know you can. And I will see you later.